All right, coming up next, it is a welterweight showdown between Leon Edwards and Gilbert Dorino Burns. You ready? You ready? Fight. All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway. And you to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five to a player. When you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is, he knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Hip tosses him down. Now we'll see if he can advance position. I mean, right into side control. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And take down, cut, take down, cut, over and over. He secures his takedown. Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters upright. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that one. He's in trouble. Wow. He's hurt bad. Total strikes have landed for the audience. If your opponent has to get oh! him, oh! Serve him up. Go get him. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Oh, he got a bag! Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Edwards. Yeah. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty for this position. Oh, reversal here, DC. Oh, pretty good entry there, and he gets the fight to his wheelhouse on the ground. Beautiful take. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness. He's be on his feet right now. Oh, big diving punch to the head. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Oh, nice job working. Oh! sure the other fighter saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the world. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Ian Levine's call to stop in this contest at four minutes, 30 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Leon Rocky Edwards. Oh. Welterweight division matchup. Ready. Ready to fight. 
All right, so lofty expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally back. All right, so now we are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to popular him. Close guard. Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters upright. All right, goes for the early takedown, and he gets it. So no surprise, he wanted to get this fight to the ground, and that is certainly a good sign for him moving forward. In this he fight. felt as if he had a massive advantage in the grappling and the wrestling. He was able to secure that takedown very early in the first round. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Punch over the top. Lands an outside leg kick of his own. Oh, man, I'm starting to feel bad for the canvas as he lands another takedown there. He landed another takedown, and he's doing it over and over again. Oh, and he hip tosses him to the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's going to try to control him, then find a submission. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. About the speed on that reversal there. I mean, I know you can get out. He's gonna start looking to try to attack a rear naked choke, and that's exactly what he's doing. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. Oh, he might have got him with a choke. So he submits courtesy of the rear naked choke. That guy's got a squeeze on him. He does a great job securing the position, getting under the neck, and then hiding his hands in order to get the finish. Fantastic performance by this fighter. He's done, he's done. Oh my goodness, what a fight. Well, you can tell he has been working hard on his submissions in his training camp. That was a near perfect setup on that choke. Sunk it in deep, and the opponent had no choice but to tap out or go to sleep. He chose to tap out. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger in finishing fights. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at three minutes, eight seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out, Leon Rocky and All right, so what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets the win by way of submission. He certainly put a lot of stock into getting the finish tonight, and he did just that. Congratulations. It was very tough fight, but he knew that if he did everything right, he could get to his position, which is the crown, and he would be able to find a finish by submission tonight. He did just that. Coming up next, it is a welterweight showdown between Leon Edwards and Colby Covington. All right, so here's the former UFC interim welterweight champion, Colby Covington, and whether he's bent. Are you ready? Are you ready? Well, it is the 21st of May, and if you don't know what that means, then maybe you're not as big a UFC fan as you thought. It's Bruce Buffer's birthday! It's a national holiday! <laughs> Bruce Buffer's birthday is a national holiday, and every year he turns 21 years old. It's time! It's time! Live! Bruce Buffer 
Oh, happy birthday, my man. Oh, you don't want to be anywhere near his guillotine choke. Might have the neck here. He's attacking guillotine. Oh, we're getting a finish here. So he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with five. All right, got to be careful playing around inside his guard. Absolutely, John. That's why you don't sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, it gives these guys too many opportunities to try to take it down. There you go. Oh, how about the slam there? That one cannot feel good. Edwards gets back up again. You're in the clinch. You can pull down from the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Nice punch there by Edwards. Well, you got Frustration is starting to set in on the other side as he lands another takedown, and he knew he was going to get a lot of this offensive wrestling as yet he's been on that stop. He has not been able to stop it, and it's a different wrestling. It's a Damian Maya type of wrestling. His double leg shot. Oh, my goodness. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Top pressure being applied here. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position. He's going to start looking to try to attack a rear naked choke, and that's exactly what he's doing. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. His opponent's got double hooks in, now under the chin. It's starting to get deep. And he's out. Five minutes in the books. All right, so next round is underway after he came very close to submitting his opponent in that previous round. He came very, very close to getting that finish, but he wasn't able to get that little extra squeeze to get the finish. But it's okay. Continue to try and put yourself back in the position to get the job done. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, pretty good handiwork on the feet there from Kobe Covington. Doesn't get enough credit for the striking, but it's certainly on point tonight, Jim. Edwards gets caught by that straight hand. Sound defensively here as he stays upright. Double leg takedown, no good. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Right left combo by Edwards. Covington's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. 32 total strikes has landed for Colby Covington. And the accuracy rate about 74% thus far against Leon Edwards. Very nice leg kick there by Covington. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot. That's it coming. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. Oh, and he takes him down again. What do they say if it's not broken? Don't fix it. Don't fix it. And it has not been broken. How will the opponent change this? Does he have the ability to change this? To this point, it does not look like it's so. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back in range. Shot a double leg. Oh, massive slam. That'll change the complexion of this one. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. 
just misses there with the left. Back and forth we go here. All right, so we'll see if he goes for another takedown here, and it's the way he's approaching the setup, too. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Covington's head kick is blocked, so no damage. His opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. You see it tweeting. Quick level change. Oh, he soon. went single. Well, T head outside. This dude's going for a ride. Oh, Takes him for a ride. Slams him on his back. What a takedown. How's that feel to be on the wrong end of that? Not, I mean, I'm sad. <laughs> I knew that was I'm coming. <laughs> oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. Oh! Huge right hand! Oh! What a fight so far! So there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is done. Right, All right, five minutes to decide this one. Oh, oh, straight punch. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the one that lands perfect, and that one landed perfectly. Oh, and he defends another takedown there, so it looked like a pretty good entry, but once again, unable to get him down. Great battle. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Edwards has just got full mount now. Now goes in and secures the takedown. And he's back up again. So the takedowns have been there, as have the get -up. Whoa! And just like that, the fight is over. Holy shit. Performance. Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched him. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Lugliano has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 10 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Leon Rocky so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that. Congratulations.